Welcome back guys, thanks so much for joining me again. I'm Ray Ray and today I have a much dreaded pop tobacco review for you. Uh, I have some history with this particular pop tobacco. Uh, a lot of people like it, a lot of people love it. I, would, I just got done looking at a, at a couple uh, other people's thoughts on it and stuff. Uh, of course, it, I, I don't let it influence mine because I already have my mind made up on it. I'm familiar with it uh, in ways that I don't want to be. But, uh, funny story for that, by the way. But, uh, I want to go ahead and do this. I found it, uh, it's, I've, I've had it in my cellar in this jar. Uh, it came from the pouch. I don't have the pouch anymore. Uh, but it's, uh, I'll go ahead and tell you what it is. It's a uh, Paladin uh, Black Cherry. Uh, I put it in this jar January 15th of 21. I know I had the, uh, the pouch was in a freezer baggie for long time uh it was last year that i that i bought this around springtime last year uh the moisture is still good i mean it's uh usually the pouches and stuff if i don't uh if i know i'm not going to get through them within a couple weeks i will uh i'll put them in a freezer baggie a double zip uh ziploc freezer baggie and it's uh they basically held them definitely as long as they're airtight uh just push on it make sure it's airtight and they'll they'll keep they they're good uh, now i don't know about for years but it's uh they'll hold you over uh, for a long while till you can get some jars available but uh this reminds me of and i'm glad my wife doesn't watch this it's funny because this the, the smell of this the flavor of this it's straight up artificial it's uh it smells like you're uh sticking your nose in a box of ludens you know wild cherry cough drops but the smell is good uh you get all kinds of burly tobacco smell and you get that cherry uh scent on top of all of it and it does smell really good because there's you can smell so much tobacco and i just uh, love the smell of tobacco but that taste the artificial taste uh actually it's uh it's reminiscent of my first kiss i'll put it that way uh the girl who had been eating uh cherry lifesavers wild cherry lifesavers i guess and stuff but it's not just your first uh peck on the cheek peck on the lips it's a uh, holy shit this bitch has got her tongue in my mouth you know it's uh and i distinctly remember that taste and that flavor from uh from that uh but anyway we're going to go ahead and get to the review i have about a half bowl packed in a country gentleman in a corn cob and uh we'll put some fire to it and i'm going to tell you why i do not like this Now getting the first lip, room note, great. It's an amazing cut to deal with. I'll go ahead and put that picture up for you, for you right now. Uh, it's a coarse cut, and I mean you gotta love a tobacco that basically packs itself. You know, it's uh, it's uniform in color, brown. Of course, it's just burley in Virginia. Uh, it's probably about a 50-50 mixture. Uh, the cut and the packing and uh, this looks of it reminds me a lot of uh, half and half and uh, uh, Sir Walter Raleigh actually, but completely different tobaccos. Well, I mean, you know, probably the same tobacco, but it's, you know, they're different. I didn't mean it like that. Uh, moisture is great. Uh, puffability. Oh, here's where we have a problem. You get a good artificial cherry flavor, but it's not cough syrup artificial because it, it don't have that massive amount of bitterness with it. It's a, uh, it's a cherry candy artificial. Uh, for the first eight seconds, I want to say eight to twelve seconds of uh, actually lighting the bowl. Uh, going through the bowl, you do get some uh, some good uh, dark tones, some good burly notes. Uh, not a whole lot of sweetness, and that might be due to the uh, the cherry topping on it. It might be uh, instead of you know the Virginias might be uh, even and out between the bitterness of the flavor that's why the the flavor doesn't taste bitter but at the same time that's also why the virginias don't taste sweet uh it doesn't last but my worst experience with tobacco was with this tobacco i was going to a family uh family outing it was cookout or something it was last spring last summer and uh usually when i'm out and about i just grab uh i grab a pouch of pop tobacco i'll throw me a just throw a pop, a small, you know, usually a cob pop. Just throw it in the bag and a box of matches. And uh, I got some uh, 
tamp was that I made a die card out of wood, you know, just have something to keep it tamped down with. And I'll just throw it all in the, the, the pouch bag and just uh, take off with it. I smoked about three bowls of that, of this, uh, that day. And, uh, I mean, it's, my mouth didn't even work for like three days afterwards. It's bit me so bad in ways that's not just a steam burn, but I think also more of a, uh, a chemical pH burn. The tongue bite on this was absolutely the worst I've ever had. And uh, I smoked many other tobacco, straight Virginias and stuff, much more than three bowls in a day. I'm rambling. I'm not keeping my pop lit, which, you know, that's typical to me. But it's got that, uh, once you get past the cherry flavor, which doesn't take long, my opinion, my opinion. Uh, the the Burleys is nice. It's very nice. But by the end, it just tastes like a just a good cheaper type Burley tobacco. I don't want to say it's a, a bad tobacco, cause to me. Even a even a bad tobacco is a good tobacco, you know. But this blend is is not a complex blend. It's just made for, uh, you know, just to, just to have a black cherry uh, topping on it. You know, just a, a typical uh, Virginia Burley blend. <coughs> Excuse me. Therefore, it's not a uh, it's not unique. Now, if you like cherry, if you want to go. With the cherry tobacco uh, in bulk, uh, Lane's very cherry would probably be a better better option. Uh, as far as pouch, I've never had Middleton's cherry. I don't even know if they make it anymore. I've never seen it in none of uh, none of the shops around the house, you know. But of course, they're not big pop tobacco shops. Uh, I'm telling you, if you if you can smoke this stuff all day, all the time. I'm not, you know, tooting my horn saying that I'm much of a man because, you know, on the broader spectrum of things, I'm probably not much of a man. But by God, you got more hair, hair on your chest than I do. Because there's absolutely no way this could be the only tobacco that I smoke or my actual go-to tobacco. Uh, good thing about it, though, being a codger blend, I mean, it's, it's ready, readily available. I've never seen it out of stock online anywhere. Uh, just checked. Uh, you're looking about a little over four dollars a pouch, so it's very affordable. Uh, Two fifty an ounce, maybe. Uh, it'd be great to buy. You know, if if you like this kind of stuff, this is your thing. Uh, if your manliness level, you know, actually achieves the uh, the level that it needs to be to be able to handle this on a daily basis, then by all means, uh, you know, it's uh, it's great to stock up on, especially with regulations coming. You know, possible regulations coming. And uh, it's cheap. It's very affordable. Uh, I actually think this is also available in a can. Don't get me wrong, though. Uh, by the way, this is manufactured by Lane Limited. Uh, yeah, 14 ounce tin. Uh, whether or not, yeah, yeah, you can get this in a 14 ounce tin also. So I mean, there's 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 some hardcore men out there that uh, that puff on this stuff. Got to be, you know, or they wouldn't put it in there. Actually, the tin or the can says 12 ounce. Uh, yeah, it says 12 ounce can on the tobacco review though, it's showing 14 ounce. Whether or not that's a typo or that's what it used to be, I don't know. But uh, 449 for a pouch, a uh, can, uh, 3212. So yeah, very affordable tobacco, especially for a cherry, but why anybody would choose to, to smoke this over, uh, say, uh, Blood Red Moon, and I know you guys have heard that so much by now, because I know I'm late to the party as far as reviewing uh, this uh, cherry tobacco. I just wanted to get it out of the way. And, uh, you know, you got cherry bomb and stuff. Uh, would have to be just because it's more affordable and more available. But overall, this ends up with a score on my scale of a 55. The review score, which would be... Uh, my type of recommendation would be a 58 because the forgive. I can already, I've not even been able to keep this damn thing lit, though I never, you know, 
I don't recall having a problem with keeping it lit. It's just where I'm rambling. But I'm still basically on the charring light, and I can already feel it uh, start starting to jack with my tongue. So I, I can feel it on my on my tongue already a little bit. So uh, maybe that's just me. You know, if this doesn't translate to other people, then by all means give this a try. You know, you might like it, but uh, for me, it's absolutely god awful. It's horrible. But there's my dreaded review on Paladin Black Cherry. I have this. I will probably have this 10 years from now. I may revisit it once it stays in this jar for a while to mellow out. I was kind of hoping it would have already. Of course, it's only been in there for about four months. And I can already tell you that, to me, it's not. But, uh... Anyway, guys, thanks for sitting through this video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care. Bye now.